डियर स्टूडेंट सत श्री अकाल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव कम अप विद द रिविजन ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व कंप्यूटर साइंस लैसन फाइव एंड लैसन सिक्स यू नो डैट द पंजाब स्कूल एजुकेशन बोर्ड इज गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द नवंबर दिसंबर मंथली एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव प्रपेयर दिस वीडियो कीपिंग दिस एग्जाम इन माइंड बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद दिस वीडियो I request to that if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of all my upcoming videos so let's get started first of all we we'll take a look at the paper pattern of class 12 subject computer science a paper of a total of 13 marks will appear from class 12 lesson 5 artificial intelligence and expert system which will have three question of one marks one question of four marks and one choice question and two question of six marks will come from this lesson out of which one question will be asked similarly a paper of a total of 12 marks will come from lesson 6 digitization in which four questions of one marks three questions of four marks and one choice question and no question of six marks will come from this lesson so by keeping this paper pattern student can score well in the exam so now let us start the review of lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson 5 so our first question is who brought the concept of ai and the option are victor ellis marvin minsky alan turing and john mccarthy and the right answer is john mccarthy brought the concept of artificial intelligence second one is which type of artificial intelligence focuses on single set of ability and perform a particular task and the option are super ai narrow ai general ai or none of these and the right answer is narrow ai focuses on single set of ability and perform a particular task third one is which one of ai type does not have memory for data storage and the option are limited memory reactive machine things of mind or self awareness and the right answer is reactive machine does not have memory for data storage and the fourth one is the conversion of natural language into computer understandable form and the option are intrusion detection machine translation identification or none of these and the right answer is the conversion of natural language into computer understandable understandable form is called machine translation and the fifth one is the core of the expert system which by applying set of rules and draw the result of the user question is the foundation of dash and the option are inference engine knowledge base user interface or none of these and the right answer is the core of the expert system which by applying set of rules and draw the result of the user question is the function of in inference engine and sixth one is place where knowledge from the human expert is collected and the option are domain expert knowledge base user or all of these and the right answer is place where knowledge from the human expert is collected is called domain expert and the seventh one is robot which provide help for analyzing the collected data are and the option are healthcare robot domestic robot military robot or research robot and the right answer is the robot which provide help for analyzing the collected data are called research robot So now we will learn about fill in the blank in lesson number five. So first fill in the blank is artificial intelligence is divided into two type dash and dash. And the right answer is artificial intelligence is divided into two type type one and type two. Second one is dash is a chess playing computer developed by IBM. And the right answer is Deep Blue is a chess playing computer developed by IBM. And third one is Dash is a good example of narrow artificial intelligence, and the right answer is Apple Siri 
is a good example of narrow artificial intelligence. And the fourth one is dash machine have no memory. And the right answer is machine learning have no memory. Fifth one is mycin and dash are example of earlier expert system. And the answer are mycin and dendral are example of earlier ex expert system. Sixth one is dash generation robot are smart as humans. And the right answer is fourth generation robot are smart as humans. So now we will learn about full form in lesson number five. So the first one is AI. AI stands for artificial intelligence. GAI. GAI stands for general artificial intelligence. Third one is NLP. NLP stands for natural language processing. SAI. SAI stands for strong artificial intelligence. So now we will learn about short answer type question. So the first question is what is artificial intelligence? So artificial intelligence means artificially developing intellectual ability. The term artificial intelligence is made up of two different words, artificial plus intelligence. Artificial means that which is not natural but artificial and man-made. Intelligence means intelligence, the ability to understand, acquire and apply knowledge, principles, truth, fact or meanings and it refers to the ability to learn and understand. Second one is what are the types and subtypes of artificial intelligence? Depict them with the help of diagram. So the type of artificial intelligence are, so it has two types. The first one is type 1 and the second one is type 2. Type 1 falls under the three categories. The first one is narrow artificial intelligence, general artificial intelligence and strong artificial intelligence. Similar like type 1, type 2 also has four types. The first one is reactive machine, second one is limited memory, third one is theory of mind and fourth one is self-awareness. The third question is differentiate between the narrow artificial intelligence and general artificial intelligence. So the difference between narrow AI and general AI are so first of so first of all, we will learn about narrow artificial intelligence. In this type of artificial intelligence, a single capability based system is developed. This system perform many dedicated function. This system cannot do anything outside the realm of definition. This is why these systems are also called weak artificial intelligence system. For example, Apple Surrey system, a computer system that plays chess a computer system that recognizes picture, etc. And the second one is general artificial intelligence. In this type of artificial intelligence, machine or computer system can perform any normal function like human. The capacity of this system is equal to the capacity of a human being. These systems are more complex than narrow artificial intelligence, but so far no machine has been Develop under this system. <coughs> the fourth question is what do you mean by expert system? Give example of expert system. So an expert system is a computer program designed to provide the ability to solve complex problem and make decision like a human expert. It makes decision using logic based on logic and inference rules according to the user queries. A common example of an expert system is dendral and mycin. And the fifth one is what is the difference between human system and expert system? So the difference between human system and expert system are the first one is the efficiency of the human system decreases with time, whereas the efficiency of the expert system is permanent. Second one is in the human system the results are not predictable. Whereas in the expert system, the results are consistent. The third one is the human system is difficult to transfer, while the expert system can be easily transferred. The fourth one, are, the fourth one are human system are expensive, whereas expert system is cheaper than human expert. And the sixth question is what are the limitation of expert system? So the limitation of expert system are. If the knowledge base contains incorrect information, then the answer of the expert system may be wrong. 
सेकेंड वन इज लाइक ह्यूमन बींग इट कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस क्रिएटिव आउटपुट फॉर डिफरेंट सीन्स थर्ड वन इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट इज वेरी हाई द फोर्थ वन इज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट नॉलेज फॉर डिजाइनिंग एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज इट कैन नॉट लर्न ऑन इट्स ऑन एंड रिक्वायर मैन अपडेट सो सेवन क्वेश्चन इज समराइज अबाउट सम कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज यूज इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सम ऑफ द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज यूज इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस द फर्स्ट वन इज लिस्ट लिस्प इज ए वेरी ओल्ड एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कंपेटिवल लैंग्वेज फॉर द डर सो लिस्प इज ए वेरी ओल्ड एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कंपेटिवल लैंग्वेज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इट वॉज डेवलप इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट बाई जॉन मकारती द फादर ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड सेकेंड वन इज जावा जावा कैन ऑल्सो बी कंसिडर्ड ए गुड ऑप्शन for the development of artificial intelligence java uses search algorithm artificial neural network and genetic programming <coughs> and third one is r this language is a good choice for statistical analysis so now we will learn about long answer day question so the first question is what are the application of artificial intelligence so the area of use of artificial intelligence are the first one is ai is used to build intrusion detection system for example a firewall program in the operating system that automatically block unauthorized website the second one is ai is used in the gaming field so in particular it play an important role in strategic game such as chess tic tac toy and third one is ai play an important role in system that process natural languages for example human interactive computer system that can understand and process human language fourth one is ai used to build weight system these system are able to understand and analyze the visual input on the computer for example spy drone and the fifth one is ai is used in the construction of specialized system sixth one is artificial intelligence is used to build intelligent robot seventh one is ai is used in the construction of machine learning system so next question is what is the importance of ai so importance of artificial intelligence are so the first one is game playing from virtual reality game to modern game it is one of the industry where artificial intelligence had has made the biggest leap board are always there to play with you and so you don't need another person to play the level of personal detail and graphics is also possible due to the advent of artificial intelligence and it taking the industry to a whole new level second one is banking and financial institution so artificial intelligence is playing an important role in managing financial transaction and managing many other activities in the bank the day to day operation of bank such as transaction and financial operation stock market money and their management etc are being carried out in a very simple and efficient manner by these machine learning models and third one is voice recognition so artificial intelligence technology recognizes the word spoken by the user and convert or respond to the text this is also called speech recognition so google for example ask us to speak on a mobile or computer and respond to the user by analyzing it apple siri software is also a good example of voice recognition fourth one is computer vision and analysis so computer vision 3d present real world information in a three dimensional way in a very easy to understand way so computer vision helps in identifying pattern it automatically gather information from images picture and pattern and provide us with information so third question is what are the pros and cons of artificial intelligence the advantage of artificial intelligence are the first one is ai based system enhance performance this system perform complex task without errors second one is 
artificial intelligence based system can work for a long time without any rest these system are not as sick as human and do not take leave third one is chains are emotionless so emotional barrier cannot stop machine or robot from working and fourth one is there is no possibility of error in the operation of this system disadvantage of artificial intelligence are the first one is there is no empathy in the machine excessive use of this system will increase unemployment if this system break down important data stored in them will also be lost this system can be misused if they fall into the wrong hands the fourth question is discuss the characteristics of expert system so feature of expert system are the first one is expertise so expert system specialize in a specific area for example the mycin system specialize in the treatment of blood infection second one is quick response time expert system provide quick answer to the question being asked third one is reliability no mistake are made by expert system so they are reliable fourth one is decision quality so expert system are capable of making high quality how high, high quality decision fifth one is consistency expert system always answer the same questions sixth one is low cost it reduces the cost of seeking expert advices for different area such as medical examination so now we will learn about multiple choice question in lesson number 6 so the first question is dash is the process to convert information into computer readable form and their option are e learning e commerce digitalization net banking and the right answer is digitalization is the process to convert information into computer readable form second one is dash is mean to be online buying and selling of goods and their option are e-commerce digital locker digital payment or none of these and the right answer is e-commerce is mean to be online buying and selling of goods third one is easiest and convenient way of way for cashless payment is dash and their option are digitalization storage offline or digital payment and the right answer is easiest and convenient way for cashless payment is digital payment and the fourth one is dash store only those educational certificate issued by educational institute through digital mode and their option are swayam nad mock or digital locker and the right answer is nad store only those educational certificate issued by educational institute through digital mode and the fifth one is dash is a type of e-commerce which involve company and customer and their option are b2b b2c c2c or none of these and the right answer is so business to consumer is the type of e-commerce which involve company and customer so now we will learn about short answer type question so first question is what is digitalization so digitalization is the process of converting information into a digital medium that is computer readable and computer manageable through which information is stored in bits digitalization allow images document audio video etc to be converted to digital medium through various computer devices and second one is describe net banking net banking is also called internet banking after availing the facility of net banking the customer can transfer money from home to his bank account pay bills transfer money to another account and view his bank account statement etc a unique username and password for the use of net banking is issued to the user after the customer goes to the bank and fills in the application form to avail the facility of net banking third one is what do you mean by e-commerce so e-commerce is also called e-commerce or internet commerce e-commerce means buying or selling goods on the internet using services making money etc this facility has given a new direction to the business and the business has flourished example of website for buying or selling product under e-commerce are amazon flipkart ebay olx quicker etc and the fourth one is names type of e-commerce 
two type of e-commerce are the first one is business to business business to consumer consumer to consumer and consumer to business and the fifth one is write down the benefit of online payment so the benefit of online payment are the first one is easy and convenient money transaction anytime and anywhere saving with digital payments and the sixth one is describe digilocker digilocker helps eliminate the use of paper document and enable the sharing of e document between government agency through an enhancement for online authentication of document digilocker provide access to authentic virtual document it is a digital document vault where you can store your documents such as driving license pan card voter id policy document etc you can upload document and keep them safe when you sign up for a digilocker account and the seventh one is what is e learning e learning also known as online learning or electronic learning is the acquisition of knowledge through electronic technology and media e learning is taught electronically e learning is conducted on the internet where student can access their learning material online at any place and time e learning is often in the form of online courses online degree or online programs so the eighth question is what is digital or online payment so online payment are also called digital or e payment or electronic payment this is an easy and fast way to make cashless payment in which payment are made through digital medium both the payer and the receiver use digital media money transfer purchase of good mobile or dish recharge payment of electricity water or mobile bills etc et can be done easily and quickly through digital payment so now we will learn about long answer day question so the first question is out, write down the type of e-commerce in detail so there are four type of e-commerce the first one is business to business in this different company do their business with each other it does not involve consumer only company exchange goods this include manufacturer wholesaler and retailer second one is business to consumer this include companies and consumer this allow companies to provide their product and service directly to their consumer the consumer select and purchases the product from the company website and pay the company directly purchased goods are shipped by the company directly to the consumer at the address given by him and the third one is consumer to consumer consumer are in direct contact with each other and no company is involved in it people can sell and buy their personal belonging to each other people use it to sell their surplus or old goods and those who need such goods fourth one is consumer to business this is the opposite of business to consumer in it the consumer provide his whole goods or services to the company and the second question is write down the advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce so the benefit or advantages of e-commerce are the first one is freeing up space restriction e-commerce has removed the barrier of geographical distance now company or individuals can provide their goods or services anywhere in the world or buy from anywhere second one is save money e-commerce save a lot of money as the buyer can buy directly from the manufacturing company which eliminate taxes and additional expenses third one is quick and easy access purchased goods are sent to the consumer in the shortest possible time by the companies directly to the address given by the consumer which makes it easy for the consumer to receive the goods fourth one is available at any time shopping can be done at any time through e-commerce business never stop here whether it's a day or a night a holiday or a holiday business is always on the internet the fifth one is easy shopping unlike shops there is no such congestion problem on the internet and we can easily select the item from a long and wide list of items so disadvantages of e-commerce are the first one is waiting time 
the item purchased through e-commerce is not immediately received by the customer. The customer has to wait for the item to reach his or her given address and sometimes it can take several days. Second one is quality risk. The quality of the item purchased through e-commerce is known to the customer not at the time of purchase but only after the item is received. Third one is security risk. E-commerce website record important detail and information of the customer which is very important to keep safe. If this customer information is leaked to an unauthorized person or group, the customer may suffer heavy financial or personal loss. And the fourth one is impossible to actually check before buying. So it is difficult to check when buying an item online. The third question is give brief note on various digital or online payment mode. So different method of digital or online payment are the first one is credit card. In this mode of e-payment, bank or financial institution issue a plastic card to their customer which has a unique number. It has a magnetic coupling which store confidential information which can only be read with the help of card reader. When a customer make a purchase, he pay with his credit card and the bank or financial institution that issued the card pay for the purchase made by the customer. Second one is debit card. A debit card like a credit card is a plastic card and it has a unique number and it also encode all confidential information in a magnetic leaf. A debit card can be read with the help of a card reader just like a credit card and requires a four digit secret pin number to access it. A debit card issued by any institution or bank must have a customer account in that bank or institution and any payment can be made through it only after depositing the required amount in it for its use. And third one is e-wallet. E-wallet is used for digital payment and there are many apps available for making this payment. These apps store our bank, debit card or credit card information then which can be easily paid. The e-wallet is like a wallet in your pocket. Using it we can transfer money through our debit or credit card, deposit for the future and make any kind of payment. The e-wallet needs to be accessed with the username and password to be used securely so that it cannot be misused. And the fourth one is net banking. So net banking is also called internet banking. After availing the facility of net banking, the customer can transfer money from home to his bank account, pay bills, transfer money to another account and view his bank account statement etc. A unique username and password for the use of net banking is issued to the user after the customer goes to the bank and fills in the application form to avail the facility of net banking. And the fifth one is Beam app. So Beam stands for Bharat Interface for Money. So Beam is a mobile app. It's an easy and fast way of payment. Payment is made by using the UPI ID of the person concerned or by scanning the QR code. And the fourth one is describe popular e-learning tools. So various popular e-learning tools. The first one is Mock. So Mock means massive open online course. These are distance learning courses run online by many universities around the world. Generally they are open to anyone who register. A single course can enroll thousands of students. With this advancement it is possible to study almost any subject and dozen of reputed university around the world are now offering research. So these courses are available at www.mwc.org and www.edx.org. Second one is SWAM. So SWAM stands for Study Web of Activity Learning for Young Aspiring Mind. It is a program initiated by the Government of India and it is designed to achieve the three main principles of education policy such as access, equity and quality. The aim of this effort is to bring the best teaching resources 
including the most disadvantage to the resources swayam strives to bridge the digital divide for student who have so far remained untouched by the digital revolution and have not been able to integrate into the mainstream of the knowledge economy the third one is swayam prabha the ministry of human resource development has taken the initiative to provide 32 high quality educational channel through direct to home across the country on the basis of swayam prabha 24 into 7 contain curriculum based course material covering a variety of subject this is primarily to make quality learning resources accessible in remote area where the availability of internet is still a challenge what is national academic depository how it differ from digilocker the national academic depository nad is a 24 into 7 online storehouse for all academic award such as certificate diploma degree mark sheet etc digitized and registered by academic institute or board qualification assessment institute not only does it ensure easy access to and achievement of an academic award but it also certify and guarantee it authenticity and secure storage in addition to ensuring the integrity and confidentiality of database authentication it can act as a det- deterrent to semi forged and forged paper certificate reducing administrative re- effort and eliminating the need for physical record the ugc will implement aadhar within the digilocker as a permanent scheme digilocker is a cloud based locker that allow user to store electronic version of birth certificate voter id card university document pan card and other important document so student i hope you have revised lesson 5 and lesson 6 through this video very well i hope you will get good marks in the paper thank you